Guys, I have a new video for you guys. This is Hollywood celebrities love the Philippines, and I'm really excited to check this one out to see. Kamusta mga kapra? Today's video episode ay pag-uusapan naman natin ang ilan sa mga international celebrities na nagpakita at nagpamalas ng pagmamahal sa Pilipinas. Why do I kinda understand at ang iba nga ay napaibig pa sa ating kabayan. Mahal kita. Mahal din kita. Oh, that's Harry Styles. Love her. Crush. The Filipino food has gone through the roof. <laughs> and just the Leo, so much adobe. Mama, you gotta have some of Mama's adobe. Manila. We coast down to Manila every Johnny. weekend or every chance we got. Oh, Manila was beautiful. I love Manila. It was a great, great town. I felt, you know, felt like you were in a kind of Hemingway book. Man, I really want to check out Manila because not because of Johnny Depp's is saying that, but I have checked out I checked out a few vacation places and Philippines is one of them and Manila is looking adventurous. Really want to check out come there visit But place. they're such a nice family. Filipinos are so sweet. Are they on the f hillside? There goes my community guidelines. Get down from there, it's dangerous! Just kidding! I'm just kidding! What's up, Kaproud? Today's video episode ay pag-uusapan natin ang mga Hollywood celebrities na hindi lamang napabilib. Oh, that was a trailer! Magkos ay napaibig pa okay. sa Pilipinas. At ang iba ay napaibig ng Pilipino. Bago tayo magpatuloy, siguraduhin nakasubscribe ka na para updated ka sa lahat ng ating Filipino Moments video. Isa na dyan si Chelsea Handler. Hindi lamang pala siya ang napaibig sa Pinoy, kundi marami pa sa kanyang pamilya. Hi, I'm Chelsea. She's Jewish. <laughs> and you're Joe. And yeah, I'm Filipino. And he's not the only Filipino who has infiltrated our family. My niece has been dating a Filipino man for five to six years. They'll probably get married. My brother Roy is in the Philippines right now about to marry his Filipino fiance. So the Handler family has been infiltrated by Filipinos, much in the same way the Kardashians have been infiltrated by black men. So we have one more slot to fill, and that's for my older sister, Simone. If you're Filipino between the ages of 50 or whatever, 60, 70, it doesn't matter when no, you're Filipino. Not 70, not 70. But when you're Filipino and 70, you look oh, 30. Yeah. So that's an advantage. But we're not only looking for Filipinos. We... You can be black Filipino. <laughs> You could be black Chinese Filipino. As long as there's Filipino. Didn't she marry or date 50 cents? What's she talking about? He's not the. Okay, I don't want to. The handlers that. will take you. Well, handlers love Filipino. We, we want more Filipino. Sprinkle the handlers with Filipino. Like Mahal, that. Mahal kita. Mahal kita. Katulad ng ibang relasyon, pagkahaba haba man ng posisyon, ay sa hiwalayan din ang tuloy. You know, uh, it's just, especially when you have a kid, I have a son, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and when you go through a breakup, you you want to be a role model as well, right? Yeah. You, you lead by example, and you don't want him to do that. So, yeah. uh, like, the, the, his mommy, it's like, we're best friends. To this day, we're best friends. I remember all the success, and I have to thank the fans, and I have to especially thank well, all the fans, but my Filipino mm -hmm. fans, for sure. And thank you for just, like, for caring and making this possible for me. Hindi din maikubli ang pagmamahal. Okay, I think Maria Carey has a special place in Philippines like the like no other female artist. I've seen people in Philippines give love to her especially. She and I I know a lot of singers from Philippines but she's the one of the OG singers so she definitely Ni Maria Carey sa Pilipinas. I am so thankful to be able to speak to my Filipino fans because guess what? When I went to the Philippines, I had the greatest concert of my life. I've never felt more loved. More, I mean, there's been a lot of places where I felt very loved, but I felt so loved there and, and so appreciated and so just like I feel like there was a not a level of judgment that like I well, often that's true. experience um, from from some people. I'm a mixture of things and it was cool because I feel like people in the Philippines felt what I was dealing with. Speaking of singers, aba hindi magpapahuli ang mga Filipino pagdating sa pag-awit. 
Narito ang ilan sa mga komento ng mga Hollywood celebrities tungkol sa kanilang pagbilib at pagmamahal sa Filipino. Filipino musicians that learned my music as if it were their own and loved it enough to do it right and to put in a lot of hours. I have to tell you that I was a little skeptical when this job offer came in because they wanted me to work with Filipino musicians. But I have had a couple of instances in my life when I've gone to hear Filipino musicians. And I have learned firsthand that they are soulful, that they are professional, and that they are a whole lot of fun to make music with. Wouldn't you agree? Well, Philippine no musicians know what's going on, what's happening. And um, first, when I started reacting to Philippines, sorry for talking too much. When I was starting, when I was starting watching Philippine videos, I thought uh, Philippines have uh, only good singers. Uh, and later on, after the Wish Bus came in, and and I started seeing uh, good bands coming. So they're not just good singers; they have good musicians. So that's that's great. Southeast Asia, any hotel lobby. Any hotel bar, there's a Filipino band. Exactly. And that is true. And I've sat there drunk and challenged band after band. Uh, Shirley Bassey, no problem. All of Dark Side of the Moon, no problem. All of Guns N' Roses, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> and that is true. Sa tingin mo ka proud, ano ugali ba ng Pilipino ang talaga namang namumukod tangi? At Pain kaya napakadali tayong magustuhan ng ibang lahi. Yung iba nga eh, nakapag-uuwi pa ng AFAB. <laughs> right. Why do you like working with us Filipinos? Because you're so ever loving talented. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> no, absolutely. I you know there's uh there's kind of a, a thing in the uh entertainment business in general mm -hmm. with people who know anything about uh artists who come from the Philippines. Uh whether it be a, a ban on a uh, a band on a uh, cruise ship right yes or um a house band in a club uh -huh. or a singer in a lounge uh you can tell if it's a filipino artist or musicians because they know how to lay it down they just really do they're very professional extremely talented and you know in america there's kind of this theory out there that black folks are the best singers and they have the best voices mm -hmm. and among black folks in america we think that the best singers are from the philippines wow that is oh, such absolutely. a great compliment we always we always talk about it we tease about it all the time it's like have you heard did you hear that girl from the philippines right. that just said like, yeah she's from the philippines what do you expect so whoa, much whoa, the... whoa! That's a that's a great compliment, and I've never seen a black pop singer. I've seen mostly black R&B singer, uh, but these Philippines guys can, guys can do all, especially uh, singing. So, props to her for giving the compliment. And why did I, why didn't I see this video before? I thought I was the only one who felt this way that uh, these Filipino people can sing well. But looks like people have known that Philippines can Philippine singers can Philippines people can sing well Filipino culture doubt. and what's insane no, to me is we're not a show about we're not a show that's like we're not a fresh off the boat or a blackish about specifically being Filipino one of our characters happens to be Filipino so when we realized that like no one else had even made like the effort to show a Filipino family on on a on a an American comedy it's taught me a lot about Filipino culture, um, mabuhay, um, <laughs> but it's also taught me really about, I mean, uh, about how important diversity is if you want to tell a new story. Um, and, and I don't think anything else I do from now on, I was just talking to my husband about this earlier, I, I would want to make it about people who are diverse, people of color, gay, trans, because those are stories that have not been told before and America is a melting pot of immigrants and I don't think it's acknowledged half as much as it should be on television. Well, that's Narito the truth. naman ang ilan sa mga celebrities na sumubok kumanta ng Tagalog. Ito ko miibig sa'yo kahit na ang durgo ang puso So just me, uh, Hugh Jackman always gets all the countries, whatever country he likes, he learns the language. So it's always good about Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman is like a father material for me. I don't know. I don't know why I feel that way. Ever since I saw him in Wolverine, that's how I felt. And 
I don't know why I get chills, but I got chills. Okay, is it just me or uh, after the YouTube reaction videos have come, the Philippine singers are getting more recognition. See, they got the respect from the people who are musicians, but the recognition was not there. But I think after the Philippines reaction videos and everything, people got, people, after supporting the reaction videos of people reacted to Philippines content, I think they got the respect and also the recognition. And that's a great sign that's a good thing, uh, especially I love that. I love peop when people get recognition for their talent. So this was a this was really like a great video. And this is the first time I'm seeing this video or the anything closer to this. I uh, really loved it. Um, share me if you have a content like this. So thanks so much, guys, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope we enjoyed watching the video together. So I'll see you on the next video, guys. I'll be posting a lot of Philippines content for now because. I have a lot of backlog, so um, and I'm really enjoying it. Uh, so thank you so much, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, peace out, fam. Bye.